The 90s were a long time ago, but thanks to everything old becoming new again and again, the 90s never truly go away. And if you haven't seen Clueless before, it is now among the movies and TV shows getting remade. Except, this time, it's going to be a musical. Whatever! For a limited time, Descendant star Dove Cameron has been cast as Cher Horowitz in an off-Broadway Clueless musical. Oh, as if! Will fans be totally butt-crazy in love with her performance? Or just think it's whatever? Oh, sure I do know. Only time will tell. Speaking of the 90s, a group called the Spice Girls was taking over the world back then with its music and girl power. Girl power was a feminist statement that can be seen in music throughout the decades. You've probably heard Beyonce's banger, Run the World Girls, right? Girls. That's Faye's own take on the power of women. But in 2018, there's a new girl power anthem and the Disney Channel has almost every leading lady involved, and it's legendary. No, seriously, it's called legendary. This week, there's more returns than after Christmas at the mall, cause Honey Boo Boo is back. Alana Honey Boo Boo Thompson is competing on Dancing with the Stars Juniors and performed her first dance this week, the salsa. The experience so far has been great. She said on the show, I've changed a lot. I can call myself a dancer now, and I never thought I could call myself a dancer. Ruby Rose shared a surprise with comic book fans everywhere this week via Instagram. She revealed the first ever photo of what her Batwoman will look like for a crossover episode of Arrow. You'll get to see Batwoman in action on December 9th on The CW. Get that bat signal ready! Last but not least, for World Mental Health Day, Lady Gaga wrote a piece in The Guardian about how there needs to be more mental health resources for everyone. She wrote, One in four of us will have to deal with a mental health condition at some point in our lives, and if we're not directly affected, someone we care for is likely to be. She continued, We can no longer afford to be silenced by stigma. Lady Gaga wrote the op-ed to demand more funding and compassion for people like her who have long suffered in silence. And that's a pretty cool thing for anyone who feels alone. I'm Sara Chaudhry, and that's what's fire this week.